how satisfying is it to bounce back with a sweep where you scored 28 runs and end a stretch where you had 21 games in 20 days? Yeah, um, yeah, really, really happy with how uh, we were able to come in uh, with a focus this series, you know, especially falling down. Uh, four runs in the, that first inning of the first game, and and just uh, I thought we just had a lot of quality at bats, um, up and down our lineup from a lot of different guys, a lot of people contributing, um, and and really, you know, I felt like our hunger was good coming in today, knowing you know we're we're about to leave for the road going into an off day, and I just I was I was really pleased with how the guys came out today. Um, just from a focus, energy, everything standpoint to to kind of finish off this homestand, which was a little up and down and, and finished on a really good note. What's the latest on Didi? Um, <clears throat> he's got um, a pretty bad bruise on his heel. Um, so it's something that we'll kind of monitor over the next 24 hours. Could potentially be a DL thing. Um, so, you know, not great there, but uh, we'll, we'll just kind of see where we are tomorrow. I mean, there's nothing broken or anything like that, but uh, he's, he's got a pretty good, pretty significant bruise on his heel, uh, and there's some swelling in there. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll know a lot more tomorrow, but it's a possible DL situation. And that's the result of the imaging test that he had done? Yeah. Uh, well, he went all that, and I think that all came back clean and fine but um there's a pretty good pretty good swelling in there susan how exactly did the heel get bruised I, i'd have to i haven't run run yeah. back through it and seen it but you know pretty good spill over there i don't know if he jammed his heel down into the ground or or where exactly he did it i haven't run through that with him yet or or I haven't seen the video yet. I was just uh, talking with him and Cash and, and uh, Stevie, just kind of walking through, you know, where he was and what the next 24 hours looks like. What What were your feelings about Jay Happ today? Uh, good. You know, gives up the homer in the first there, throws a number of pitches, um, and then just kind of settled in. You know, I, you can't really, you can't ever really tell. You know, it seemed like, you know, they were they were aggressively up there swinging against him, knowing that you know he's pounding the strike zone, knowing he's throwing a lot of heaters. Obviously, they know him a little bit, um, so they were they were aggressive with him in that first inning and made it a little bit difficult in him, on him. But I thought he settled in pretty well and um, you know kept just pounding the strike zone, and then obviously you know especially one, once we got him that lead in the bottom of the first, he he kind of took it from there and. Um, um, and, and gave us a solid outing. Kevin and Dan. Uh, Two-part question. Uh, what's your plan for shortstop without DD, obviously? And also, the just to kind of, you've been getting some weird injuries, too, you know. It, it, injuries happen, but is it a little, little strange? Because, I mean, Morales was totally out of position there when DD right. ran him over and things like that. Um, I mean, we'll see where we are again in 24 hours. Maybe, maybe the news gets a lot better, and 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 uh, and we'll go from there. But you know, Glaber would move over and and get the bulk of the work at, at shortstop. Um, if, if Didi was down for a significant time, um, you know, obviously we have we have Toe capable of playing there. Um, so we'll just we'll kind of mix and match and and figure it out from there and. Look, injuries are injuries, you know. I mean, you just, they're part of it. Um, you know, you hope to avoid them as much as you can, especially the key guys. But um, it's, you know, whether they're freakish, whether they're, you know, significant, whether they're small, they're, they're all things that you have to deal with, and, uh, and we will. Uh, obviously, Walker would be a, someone you put at second, but he's in right field. Just the the toll that the injuries have taken to such key guys do you wonder you know how how much more resilient this, this team can be if this is something that lands Didi on the disabled list yeah i mean look it's it's another you know i, I don't have to explain to you how important Didi is to our club um so so hopefully it's not something that's that's very long um but you know we'll we'll f we'll work it out and hopefully you know hopefully John Carlos in a position to where he's back on the field you know that that can slide walk into the, into that infield mix again and and uh, you know we'll make do that way and um, 
Yeah, we'll we'll make it work. Brendan to the right. Two things. What was the, what were the results of Romine's test today? Good. Everything everything checked out. Uh, you know, we got his heart rate up this this morning. Um, he responded well. Uh, passed all the the scat testing. Um, so, um, you know, assuming everything's good over here, the next 24 or 48 hours, um, I would expect him to be back in full full go on Tuesday. Bill to the right. Uh, Stanton's usually a pretty low key guy. How do you think he'll handle going back to Miami? Um, you know, I think one he's looking forward to going back there. Um, um, you know, it's always weird. You know, just speaking from my own um, experiences of playing the next team or going back to a city that, you know, in this case he grew up in in a lot of ways, and you know came up through their system, became the big leaguer there for him, became the face of the franchise, obviously, and a huge star. Um, so I'm sure there's all kinds of emotions that go into that, to returning to a place. Um, so, it, it, you know, it's one of those things that you deal with also as a big leaguer. It's kind of inevitably going to happen to you if you play long enough in this game. So I'm sure he'll he'll be experience a, a lot of emotions. And, you know, if if... If what I've seen of from him over the last four or five months, um, I would imagine he'll handle it pretty well.